Hello! I'm your favorite cousin, and welcome to a brand new series called Playtime with Cousin! This is a series where I play with things and I tell you if you should play with them too. My cousin's friends, Kevin and Evan, are very nice because they're letting me play with all of their toys. Because my family is poor and we can't afford a lot of toys. Uh, correction partner. I'm letting you play with my brother Evan's toys. He's at reptile camp right now, so he shouldn't be back for another hour, but we gotta make this quick. Yeah, so do your little video, and then we gotta get out of here, because Evan will freak out if he knows you've been messing with his stuff. Aw, oh, come on, cousin. You can't rush playtime. Yes, you can. Evan is a dangerous man. You are not gonna want to be here when he gets back. Uh, fine. Now. Let's reveal what we're playing with. Today, we will be comparing two Lego sets to see which one is worth the buy and which one is going bye-bye. Our first Lego set, you may recognize from the first two seasons of The Mandalorian, it's the Lego Razor Quest. Whoa, 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 Kevin, is he allowed to be playing with that? Yeah, man, it's fine, it ain't that big. And the Lego set that we'll be comparing it to is... The UCS Razor Quest! No, partner, don't touch that! Why? I need to do a comparison that the fans actually want! That thing is worth a lot of money, and it probably took Evan a long time to build that. It took him seven months. You can't play with that. Put that down. Oh man. You guys are gonna ruin my special episode. <sighs> I hate to see a young fella upset, so I'll tell you what. You can use it in your video, but it's gotta stay on the table, okay? Kevin, are you sure? Yeah, partner, what's the worst that could happen? Yay! Round one, is it worth the price? Our first round is all about money. Now, I don't understand money very well, but my cousin just told me that the higher the numbers are, the more expensive something is. Who would have thought? Literally anybody with a brain would have been able to figure that out. That's not true. Kevin, did you know that? Yeah, I think I figured that out pretty early in my life. Wow. Well, that's news to me. Anyway, the small Lego set cost $139.99. And the big Lego set cost $599.99. That's a big difference, I think. Right? <sighs> yes. Uh-huh. Well, let's look at what you get. For the little one? You pay $139.99 and you get 1,023 pieces and five minifigures. You get the Mandalorian, Grief Karga, IG-11, a Scout Trooper, and Baby Yoda, of course. Uh, his name's actually Grogu. Whoa! Spoilers! That was revealed like two years ago. Well, you need to consider how some people might not know that. Right, Kevin? No, I knew that. Anyway, you get a lot of pieces and a lot of minifigures and a very nice looking Lego set for a very cheap price. It's not that cheap. $140 is still a lot of money. Yeah, cousin. $140 is a lot of money. But $139.99, now that's a bargain. Do I tell him? Nah, partner, just let him do his thing. Now, the big one is where things get interesting. For this bad boy, you're gonna pay $599.99, but you get this giant ship that has 6,187 pieces. That's a lot of pieces. And then you also get five minifigures, sort of. First, you get the Mandalorian who has brand new arm printing and he just looks awesome. And then over here you get Baby Yoda again. And then over here you get the Mithril, which sounds like a made up word. And then up here you get Queel, a fan favorite. But then there's also the bonus fifth character, which is this guy. So which of these two Wego sets gets the point this round? Well, for me personally, if I'm walking into a store and I see these two on shelves, I'm gonna pick this one. What? Why? Because this one's box is probably way too heavy for me. Plus, I don't have $599 to spend. You know, you can pretend that you've got unlimited money, right? If I did have $599, then I would be able to buy four of these Lego sets and still have enough money to go to Auntie Anne's to buy a pretzel for myself. How did you do the math that fast? I'm smarter than I look. Anyway, the small Razor Quest wins this round. Round two, how does it look? Now let's pretend that price doesn't matter. Which one looks cooler? You're probably thinking this one, and you're probably white, but let's take a closer look. 
On the small one, you have a tiny cockpit, which is big enough to fit two people. In the back, there's a small interior too, where you can fit the little speedo that comes with the ship. And check this out. Everything on the ship folds down, so you can see it's skeleton. And it has a bed, where the Mandalorian can take a little nap if he wants. And then there's a secret escape pod on here, which is big enough to fit only one character. So sorry, Baby Yoda, but if the ship goes down, you're going down with it. You're gonna die, Baby Yoda. Yikes, man, that's a bit harsh, don't you think? Well, I'm just saying what everybody was thinking Kevin. No one was thinking that. And now onto the big ship, which has so much more to enjoy. I mean, just look at the size difference. This ship's engine is almost as big as the entire small ship. Let's take a look at the front first. This has a massive amount of space. Look, you can fit three people just sitting down, but then you can also have all these other people sit in here so you can have a full party. And that's just the front of it. Take a look at this amazing interior. There's so much extra space in here for activities. And there's Easter eggs too, like this Baby Yoda stickle or that Boba Fett helmet down there. And look at this! The escape pod can actually fit Baby Yoda this time, so he can escape from impending doom. Overall, I think we can clearly see which one wins this round. The small one! What? Why? How? Because! No, no, that's not an answer. The big one is clearly better looking in every single way. How could you possibly choose the small one? Because! Oh, I don't know, partner. I think your cousin's making pretty valid arguments. I agree with him. How are his arguments valid? Another point goes to the little one. No, I can't watch this anymore. Kevin, I'm going upstairs to get a snack. Can you just make sure my cousin doesn't break anything? You got it, partner. Round three. How does it play? Now it's time for the final round, and my favorite round, playtime! Which one is more fun to play with? First, let's test out the Widow one. Pew, 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 pew. Oh yeah, very swooshable, very playable. This is almost a 10 out of 10 on playtime. Now that is one of the most playable Lego sets I have ever touched. Now, let's play with this one. Uh-uh, partner. I told you, you can't pick that up. But Kevin... How am I supposed to test its playability? I don't know, just imagine that you're playing with it. But Kevin, I can't imagine something like swooshability. What am I supposed to do? Look kiddo, I'd love to let you play with that, trust me. But if my brother founds out that you touched it, he's gonna freak out. Fine, I guess I'll just imagine playing with it. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Kevin, we have a serious problem. Evan is back from reptile camp. He said it got canceled because of the rain. But it ain't raining. I don't know, they said they felt a drizzle so they had to cancel it immediately. But help me distract him, he's coming down! Oh golly, you put that stuff back. We gotta pretend that you didn't touch anything. Let's test its swooshability. Whoa! Oops. Well there you have it. The big one is not playable at all. So the little one wins! Evan, wait, don't you want to put your lizard away before you come down here and play with your stuff? No, Kevin! I like to let him crawl through the Lego sets! You know this! <laughs> Hi, Evan! That one's not fun, but this one is! You broke my Lego UCS Razor Crest! Now I'm gonna break you! Uh-oh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want me to play with next. Ah! Ah!